stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I have a fabulous tutorial to show you and that is how to create this beautiful silver wreath card. How amazing is that? It is super cute. You could use this for so many different occasions although it is fabulous for the holidays right now as well. So I created this wreath. This uses the wonderful wreath framelits so I am always trying to find new ways to use my framelits uh, for other occasions or for things that are besides the obvious that are shown in the catalog. So I came up with this amazing sample here. So I used the wreath for that with my silver foil sheets and then I also added a little bit of embossing. You can see that there's the little perfect polka dots embossing folder was used with that one. And then I added some of the real red dazzling details just to kind of accent some of those dots to make it look like little hollies. How fabulous. Today I'm going to show you another sample but using um, a different embossing folder and I'm also going to show you a little trick on how to get the most out of your silver foil. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using uh, some of the Lost Lagoon. I just thought I would do a different color scheme just to kind of show you a different sort of sample. So I have my Lost Lagoon because I'm super loving this blue uh, for this wintry season. And then I have a piece of silver foil. This measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. If you notice, this is actually the same size as that background square piece that I used to layer right here. So the reason why I did this is because this piece, I'll bring in my magnetic platform, and here are the, uh, the two pieces in the wonderful wreath framelits. And even though I'm not lining them up uh, for the actual stamp greeting, I'm still going to point both of those tabs in the same direction so that I have that same wreath look going on there. So I'm going to set those towards the center because I'm going to use this same exact piece for that layering piece. So then I can kind of double use that piece of paper and not have to worry about having so much of that wasted as a layering piece. So now I'm just going to set my other clear sheet on top and I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. Okay, so now I have my wreath all popped out. Here we go. And so we're going to use that as our layering piece. So we want to save that. And then we're just going to pop out our wreath. The other cool thing that I noticed, and this was because I was doing another similar card uh, at the same time, was this little piece. You can use your star framelits and you can actually get this little bitty star out of it. So that little star can be created out of this. So you can still use this little scrap piece for even another project. How amazing is that? I love being able to use my scraps for projects so that I don't feel like I'm wasting them. So you can always set those aside to use that for a future use. Now for this, I'm actually going to take my stripes embossing folder and I'm just going to set that inside that and I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. So now you can see that I have these beautiful stripes on my wreath. You can kind of see them based on the reflection, it looks like a little bit. But I don't want my stripes to just go one way, so I'm actually going to then lay it. My stripes right now are going this way, and the stripes on the folder go this way. So I'm going to lay it back in there and run it through my embossing folder one more time. So now I've completed my embossing folder, and you can see those beautiful stripes giving that crisscross pattern. How cute is that? So now it's time to assemble. So first we're going to start off by adding adhesive to our silver piece, and I'm just using regular sale adhesive on those little corner edges, but not too close to the corner, because remember we have that overlap piece. So now we're just going to lay this piece of Lost Lagoon, and this measures three and a half by three and a half. So it's just a half inch, or I'm sorry, a quarter inch in from our uh, silver foil piece. Now with the silver foil piece I'm just going to add dimensionals because you know there's no such project without dimensionals in my stamping room. So we'll just add a fifth one there to the center and pull all the little backs off of those. Hopefully they make it in the trash can and not on my elbow or someplace else. 
Am I the only one that gets those stuck everywhere with static cling, it seems? So now I'm just going to place this towards the top of my card. And then I'm actually going to use dimensionals on my wreath as well. So I'm just going to add some dimensionals, about three, sort of in a triangle pattern there. Add those to the back of the wreath and then stick my wreath right on the center there. Then I'm going to use some of the Lost Lagoon Taffeta Ribbon and here I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial on the bow. I find that the easiest way to make a bow with just a piece of string or a ribbon or whatever you're using is to take your fingers and do bunny ears. So your pointer fingers here are going to be the center of your bunny ears. So you're just going to wrap that around and use your second finger and your thumb to hold the two pieces together here and then here I have my little bunny ears. Now you're going to pull those fingers out of your bunny ears and you have your two loops. Just tie your two loops together in a knot. And then of course there's always some finagling with it once you get it kind of pulled through. So before you pull it tight, kind of you can kind of play around with it a little bit and get the perfect little bow there. And then of course you can kind of pull these down as you wish too. So that I'm just going to add with another dimensional right at the top of my wreath there. And I'm just going to make sure I move my tails so that they don't stick underneath but instead pointed down. And just pop that down right there and we'll trim off our little tails. Whoop. I've used sticky strip with those scissors a few too many times, so let's get out a fresh pair. And I'm just doing a little diagonal trim there. How cute is that? Super fabulous. This one I won't actually add the dazzling details to it, but you always could. For my greeting on the bottom, I'm actually done with some of my, um, or all of my holiday cards at this moment. So I don't need uh, any more of those. So I'm just going to use a happy birthday greeting. So I have a piece of scrap whisper white cardstock, and I'm using one of the greetings from the Bloom with Hope Hostess stamp set because I like the, the font of it. So this is the stamp set here, and I'm going to use this greeting right here. I like how it's a beautiful scrolly little uh, image there, so I feel like it goes with the elegance of the silver and everything uh, on this card. So I'm just going to stamp that down. This card will be perfect for any of my winter birthdays. I know my mom's birthday is in January, so this would be perfect for her as well. So then I'm just going to take my modern label punch and line that up perfectly in there. Punch that out. And of course I can't just have this flat on my card so I'm just going to add a few of my dimensionals and pull off the backs of that and line that up perfectly there on the center of the card. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those lines and how beautiful and simple that looks. So here are the two cards. Of course uh, you could do them perfect for the holidays or for any sort of occasion that you have coming up. Uh, winter season, so any of your birthdays or occasions during that, but it would also be perfect for uh, birthdays, anniversaries, thank you cards, and just because as well. So I hope you try this out. Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, for more samples on this and more of the tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos, especially the one where I show you how to use this fabulous little star which will be coming next week. So don't forget to subscribe to that. Happy stamping everyone. Bye bye.